Hi guys, it's February 10th, 2018, and this is another Micah's PSA. Domestic violence occurs at least as frequently, and likely more so, between same-sex couples. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. Victims of same-sex domestic violence face added challenges, some of them including abusive LGBTQ partners may actually threaten to out their victim's sexual orientation or gender identity to co-workers, family and friends, and many others. LGBTQ victims may be reluctant to report abuse to legal authorities because doing so would actually force them to reveal their sexual orientation or their gender identity. And then there's the shelters. Domestic violence shelters, while increasingly responsive to the needs of LGBTQ victims, most times do not even admit gay male victims. Getting physical, and I mean in a violent manner, no, that's never okay. And the victim, stop thinking that it's you when it's really the aggressor, the person that's getting physical and the one that's too much of a coward to address his or her own issues. So I don't know who told you it was cute to beat up on or physically assault someone that you love, but guys and gals, love, while it does, yeah, it does hurt the heart sometimes and maybe the soul, but it should never, and I repeat, never hurt you physically. So, if you are in an abusive relationship, situationship, or even marriage, I need you to seek help, call your local authorities, and get out. Because I'd rather see you bruised and maybe a little damaged than to see you D-E-A-D dead. Because remember, domestic abuse, domestic violence is never okay. Recently, I lost a very, very good friend to domestic violence. And I want all of you all to know it's never okay. It's never okay. Domestic violence is never okay. It's never okay. It's never okay. Never. Violence and abuse is never okay. Domestic violence. It's never okay. You leave your key.